Hi Aries, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Now bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? Uh, welcome back or welcome. So just so we have an idea, here are the overall energies. This is past, present, future energies, clarifiers for each and final thoughts from spirits so let's jump into it okay so overall energies is aloha ke akua blessings of the supreme being and the book says Aloha ke akua, the divine is love. The supreme being from which all life emanates manifests a blessing for you. The realm of the heart is love's temple. When you enter the heart, you gain access to the great one and to the mana, the power, authority, grace, and magnetism to manifest your divine vent destiny. Trust in what is meant for you. Surrender doubt and disconnection in favor of love and respect for the Great One, and you shall live your true destiny with joy in your heart. Love can and will conquer all. All right, so coming in, we have the Ace of Swords. Four of Cups, and the King of Cups. Ace of Swords, Four of Cups, and the King of Cups. There is a universal truth here for you, and you know that. You're aware of it, like, you, this is your aha moment. And you're worried that you've missed it. There's concern here that you have missed that you've missed a, um, there, like you've missed an opportunity with spirit. But with the King of Cups here, I'm hearing look again, look again, you haven't missed it. You, this, this is like a nagging feeling here. Go back, go back and look again, retrace your steps. Yeah, retrace your steps. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Tower, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Yeah, you really feel like you missed something. Like, like you failed to take an action. You think that So you think that this tower moment was brought on due to a missed opportunity because you didn't take some action? Let's see. The Four of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles seven of pentacles and the three of cups so four of cups oh it's 
it's like being being slow being slow to move being slow to take action caused your the fruits of your labor to be spread in directions that you didn't want them to be spread hmm And the King of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Chariot. So you feel like an, like an action has been done in haste, probably because you felt like you were taking too long with this Knight of Pentacles. So you went to overcompensate with the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Cups here, which is, you know, the King of Cups counterpart, which speaks of being nurturing, maternal. Hmm. And then the Chariot here. which speaks of a forward divine movement. This, what I'm getting is this chariot and this tower were gonna happen anyway. These, these two actions here were beyond you. And the reason you feel like you've missed out on something is because these two energies, these two energies with the tower and the chariot, they're both very disorienting. And that you've been trying to hang on and maintain control, trying to hang on and maintain control of parts of the story that you do not have dominion over. See, with the King of Cups, the only thing, the only, only body that the King of Cups really knows how to govern is himself. And while all of these things that are happening are external, you do what you're supposed to do when you're called to do it. And you keep and maintain your connection to source because that's who's really running the show. You keep and maintain your connection to source. Because source is really is the only one really running the show. See what we've got bringing up the rear. We've got the Nine of Wands. Star. The Magician. And the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this has been a heavy burden. And it's it's caused a lot of pain. Caused a lot of pain. But there is healing here. Not only that, you have a brand new set of tools to work with which ultimately is going to benefit you. Let me say that again. Yes, it's been hard, long, and painful. Yet there is healing here and on the way. Along with that, a brand new set 
of tools for you to use that is going to benefit you greatly in the long run. Okay, Aries, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.